interested in milk processing as of lately, so I made a visit to the milk factory to learn about it and share it with you all. There are three heat processes that I will discuss for today's episode. Pasteurization, sterilization, and UHD or ultra high temperature. First of all, let's start with pasteurization. So, pasteurization is a low heat treatment using temperature ranges below the boiling point of water. The goal of the process is to inactivate all non-spore forming pathogenic bacteria and the majority of the vegetative spoilage microorganism. Other than that, it is also aimed to inhibit or stop microbial and enzymatic activity. There are two types of pasteurization, slow and rapid. The typical temperature and time combinations are 63 to 65 degrees Celsius over 30 minutes or 75 degrees Celsius over 8 to 10 minutes for slow pasteurization and 85 to 90 degrees Celsius or more than for several seconds for rapid pasteurization. When compared to pasteurization, sterilization uses a higher temperature and a longer time. For example, 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes or equivalent. The goal of sterilization is to eliminate all microbes, for example, Clostridium botulinum. UHD is also a sterilization technique using a higher temperature but a shorter holding time, for example, 4 seconds at 142 degrees Celsius. Typically, the sterilized product can be stored at room temperature when unopened, unlike pasteurized products where you have to keep it in the fridge. This is the pasteurization machine. It looks very complex with a lot of pipes here and there. You can change the milk holding time by just modifying the pipeline. Some of the machines available in the industry also include a filtration and, a, and homogenization devices in it. Next up, let's take a look at the packing station. Look, it's a Tetra Pak packaging. I'm sure you have seen this kind of packaging for milk relatively often in the stores. This kind of packaging consists of layers of polyethylene, aluminum foil, and paperboard sandwiched together. Polyethylene is used to protect against external moisture, and aluminum is used for protection from oxygen and light. Meanwhile, the function of the paperboard is to provide stability, strength, and smoothness. Now, you know how the milk you've consumed reaches you in a good condition even after a long journey from the farm. Uh, oops. I have overshot my welcome here. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.